OK, welcome to this tutorial on view range with Revit Structure. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So in the elevation here, you can see that we're using model lines to represent the top range, cut plane, the bottom range, and the view depth. On the left-hand side, I've just added in some dimensions so you can actually see where these cut planes are located. In the 3D view, we can see the same model lines so you can actually understand where they are within the structure. In the bottom left-hand window here, we can see the output in the structural plan, level 1. Notice the hidden detail. OK, so let's have a look at the uh, view range dialog box from the properties window. So here, you can see we have a top, uh, a top view under the primary range. Notice it's set to 1200, associated level 1. So let's review where this is cutting through. So you can actually see it slicing through the two structural openings here. So what happens if we actually change the top range? Well, let's have a look at that. So currently it's on 1200, so we'll just lower that so it doesn't actually slice through the windows there. So it's not going to include the window openings. And directly now, if you look at the bottom uh, left-hand view, you can notice now that the structural openings are no longer shown. OK, let's put it back to 1200. And now you can see they're shown with the hidden detail. OK, so let's now move into the cut plane. So you can see it's currently set to 300. What we'll do is we'll go back into the view range here. And we'll actually make sure this cuts through the two structural openings that are higher up. And now, of course, you can see that they're now appearing cut within the plan view. OK, we'll return those uh, back to a setting of 300. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to deal with the bottom range. But in combination to that, we're also going to deal with the um, well, an actual uh, setting that is called view depth. So in the view range here, you can see that my bottom range is set to 0, view depth is 1800. So I'm going to set this to 0. Notice now we see no nothing below 0. But if we just set our bottom range to 1800, this is where many of you might have actually seen this issue here, what we see is just solid lines. Now really what we want to see is hidden detail there. Okay, So we're actually seeing solid lines there. So the answer is to set the bottom range to zero and then the view depth that's set beyond that. Now there is a special line type or a line style that we actually need to configure within the Manage tab. So let's go in there. So we'll select Manage, Additional Settings in here, and then we'll go into Line Styles. Now what you'll see here, within Line Styles, on the Beyond range, yep, currently I've actually set this to Hidden. Now, I've actually overridden that. So what I'm going to do here is just set this to orange, just so you can see a difference on the plane. I'm going to apply that. And you can now see that the hidden detail, which is set um, to the beyond, or uh, beyond the view range there, is now set to the orange dashed line. Yeah, so that's the view depth in the view range. Now, as an addition, we also have something called a planned region. Yeah? And a plan region is literally just a local override for a portion of the structure. So I'm just going to actually uh, put a local override over one of these structural openings, the higher structural openings. And it might be that I want to section through just that one opening. So we have, if you like, a separate view range purely just for this uh, plan region that we can set. So you see they've cut, set the cut plane to 1200. Okay, And we'll just apply that. When we click the green tick, you'll now see that that's appearing in section. Now the green dotted box won't actually print out, so don't worry about that too much. But if I move it away, you can now see yep, that it's now back in cut again. So that's how you can actually apply Draftsman's license to the model. 